So I'm looking at this and I feel like it's not so bad. We have vegetables here. It's like a health food poutine, this? Yeah. I, you, now you're putting words in my mouth. I actually... <laughs> I'm there's just saying there's some vegetables. Yeah, there's, there's, some, there's some. There's some. cauliflower. There's yeah. milk ingredients. Uh, milk, milk products as well. There's there's cheese. There's uh, potatoes. There's meat. It's so, like a Mexican inspired yeah. poutine. So if there was a Montrealer living in Mexico creating a poutine, maybe this is what it would look like. Yeah. And a good texture. You can taste the spiciness from the tagine also in, in here. Mm -hmm. Gives it a little, a little like south american kick and the gravy what is it it's a smoked brisket gravy or something mm -hmm. this is unusual for me uh the best poutines have the best potatoes potatoes that are fresh you know they're not they, they weren't uh, frozen it gives it a different texture i'm more of a purist yeah when it comes to poutine meaning that um although i appreciate the the, the push to develop new things and put things together as we're seeing here I do always like my basic, well-done fries, properly done cheese and a lot of it, and a nice hot gravy to melt it and put it all together. And I think the way it's put together is very important as well, more than just the taste. P.K. Subban at the All-Star Game said uh, he didn't get the hardest shot because he felt like he didn't eat the right food and he had mentioned he needs to come here and have more puts in and smoke meat. Oh, there you go. And that, that's like a metaphor for not enough heart. Yeah. Not mm -hmm. enough guts. Get, get, get Marc Benner yeah. some poutine. Take a risk. Yeah. Have a bite of poutine. <laughs>